For decades, South Africa was known as one of the world's premier locations to see great white sharks in the wild, especially in places like False Bay and Guns Bay. Tourists and scientists alike flock to these areas to witness spectacular breaches and observe the ocean's most iconic predator in action. But starting around 2015, researchers and cave diving operators began noticing an eerie trend. The sharks were vanishing. Data collected between 2016 and 2020 showed an 82% drop in sightings. And by mid-2018, great whites were nearly absent from the region entirely. Marine experts scrambled to understand what was causing the sudden and dramatic decline. Some suspected shifts in prey populations were climate-related changes, but the speed of disappearance suggested a more immediate threat. The void left behind was more than symbolic. Entire food chains and local tourism economies were beginning to show signs of stress. Apex predators like great whites play a crucial role in balancing ecosystems, and their sudden absence sent a clear warning. Something serious was unfolding in South Africa's coastal waters. The great white sharks weren't just declining, they were fleeing, and scientists were determined to figure out why. The most dramatic explanation surfaced with the rise of two notorious orcas named Port and Starbird. First spotted off South Africa's coast around 2015, these male killer whales quickly gained a deadly reputation. Unlike most orcas, which hunt in pods, Port and Starbird operated as a duo, and they specialized in hunting great white sharks. Carcasses began washing ashore with clean incisions and missing livers, pointing to highly skilled predators. The sharks, sensing the danger, fled almost immediately. Studies showed that even a single orca attack could cause great whites to vacate an area for weeks or months. In 2023, Starbert was observed killing a great white solo in less than two minutes, using a technique that flipped the shark upside down and induced paralysis. Orcas are intelligent and adaptable hunters, and Port and Starbert's focus on high-energy prey like shark livers marked a chilling escalation. Marine biologists began referring to them as serial killers of the sea. While orca attacks had occurred in the past, never before had such predation been linked to widespread shark displacement. These two orcas didn't just hunt, they altered the behavior of an entire species, forcing great whites to abandon their historic strongholds in South Africa. While orca predation grabbed headlines, scientists warned that human activity also contributed to the shark's decline. Shark control programs, especially in the KwaZulu-Natal region, used nets and drum lines that killed thousands of sharks over the years, including many great whites. Even in areas with no direct hunting, overfishing reduced populations of prey species like tuna and smaller sharks, weakening the food supply. Pollution and habitat degradation added further stress. These conditions meant that great white sharks were already under pressure long before the orcas arrived. Some researchers now believe that orca attacks acted as a tipping point. Sharks may have tolerated human-related stressors for decades, but the new predation threat pushed them to finally abandon the area. Climate change has also played a role, with warming waters possibly altering migration patterns and prey distributions. Together, these factors created a perfect storm. While orcas were the spark, the fire was built over time by human interference in the marine ecosystem. This broader context suggests that even if the orcas stopped hunting sharks, the conditions in South Africa may no longer be ideal for great whites. Their disappearance is not just a story of predation, but one of long-term environmental decline. The great white shark's departure didn't just happen in a vacuum. As apex predators, they regulate entire marine ecosystems. Without them, the balance of power in the ocean quickly shifted. In False Bay and other affected areas, Cape fur seals, once a primary food source for great whites, began to thrive unchecked. This led to more aggressive seal behavior, including increased predation on endangered African penguins. Seven gill sharks, which once hid from great whites, became more visible and more dominant in the food chain. At the same time, populations of smaller fish and bottom-dwelling species began to decline, likely due to the ripple effects of this new predator dynamic. Scientists describe this process as a trophic cascade, a domino effect that reshapes entire ecosystems when a top predator is removed. In this case, the exit of the Great White didn't just change who's at the top of the food chain, it destabilized the entire system. Even the human economy felt the impact. Shark cage diving, a major tourist draw in South Africa, collapsed in several areas. Boats that once guaranteed sightings now return empty, and businesses dependent on shark tourism have shuttered or shifted focus. The loss of these apex predators is being felt far beyond the water. The question is now, will the great white sharks ever return? Some scientists are hopeful. Sharks are known to adapt and explore new hunting grounds, and there have been isolated sightings suggesting that they haven't abandoned South Africa entirely. 
Conservationists are pushing for reforms in shark control policies, tighter regulations on fisheries, and expanded marine protected areas to make the waters safer for sharks and their prey. Researchers continue tracking both the sharks and the orcas, hoping to better understand the patterns that led to this shift. But others warn without serious action, South Africa may have permanently lost its iconic shark population. The story of the Great White's disappearance is a stark reminder of how vulnerable even the most powerful animals are to environmental pressures and predation. It's also a wake-up call for global marine conservation. What happens in South Africa could happen elsewhere. The fate of the Great White isn't just a South African issue. It's a reflection of how human influence and natural predation can combine to change ecosystems forever. Whether the sharks return will depend on how quickly and effectively we can restore balance to the ocean they once ruled.